Hello, so it is Sunday. We're going our way on Wednesday. So I'll give the camera a little service. So let's turn around and show you what I'm going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is replace the friction pads which are inside here. If you'll be able to see. Um, they need to replace them, but first I need to get this hitch lock off. I've just propped you up so you might be able to see so it's quite wet out here at the moment I'm only doing this because the fridge pads have literally just arrived so undo that take it off I haven't put the um, ball this time because I forgot but I'll uh, show you what to do I would film this on my tripod, but I can't find it anywhere at the moment. So, first thing you need is a screwdriver, which will then... I'll need to shove it in here. So there's normally some end caps on here, but for some reason ours didn't come with any. And um, as far as I know, um, we these friction pads have never ever been replaced. So they are probably quite worn down. So you've got one there, there's one hidden behind here, then one on the uh, opposite side. So I'll just prop you up if I can and then film this. Right, I'm going to have to zoom on this a bit. You might not be able to hear me, but the screwdriver, pull the end out, shove it in, and give it a few, few taps. And it's out. So here's what they look like. Yeah, and that's quite worn down. So the shine on it shouldn't be that shiny. Yeah, so that's one. Let's get the other one out now. There's the other one. Yeah, this one's quite shiny as well. So that that's definitely needs these definitely need replacing. If only ordered. I'll be able to find it. We'll be able to find a set of two to replace these with. Um, I'll scale you up. Normally, I would place the third, which is at the top, is it? I oh, know it's at the back there. I normally would replace that one. Actually, I think there's a fourth. I'll just put a finger in. Yeah, there's a fourth. Uh, hit them. I don't actually. No, there isn't. It's a lie. It's only two. I thought it was three. Um, so I'm going to replace these two. Filthy fingers. Ugh. Right. So I'll put the new ones in now. So now the friction pads are done. Time to give the camera on the roof. Well, the entire camera clear. But let's start with the roof. So this is the current state of the roof. I've cleaned it about a month ago, but you see over there, couldn't quite get to there because that's right up against the bush and it's under this tree which loves to drop things. And then around here, just a bit green, yeah, a bit horrible. And then I like to get a nice brush along there. Remove all this greenness. Get it nice. Put a bucket there. And then, there you go. You'll be able to see I've got a mop down the side. Just realised I previously said uh, mop. Yeah, it's a brush. It's a really good one. Got it from um, Tool Station. This this brush head is amazing. It looks really bristly, but it actually absorbs water foam so well. You can attach your um, tap to it, but it just leaks a bit, so I don't really do that. I get a bucket, nice big B&Q bucket. So, uh, should I do a time lapse? Or s it's not really anywhere to put it, is there? Uh, I suppose I could prop it up there. Yeah, let's do that. Right, 
so there we go um it is clear I've, I've missed a few bits mainly there where i'm just gonna do a little brush because my arms are knackered now <laughs> um but yeah just a little bit but overall nice and shiny these bits will not come off whatsoever it's little dots but there you go it's all right for now um well should i give the size a clean no it's hard to um like just bring the hose around all the sides because it was oh I forgot the other side um the hose the end of the hose is broken so I, I have to turn it on then quickly like kink the hose or whatever there we go it's all right no but i am absolutely shocked and so is everywhere else around here now it's time for the uh sides not too bad, but it's just mainly around here where the water's been dripping down. Right, so, annoyingly with this drive, because it's angled down a bit, this is meant to run off, the water's meant to run off in there. So, if I move you around here, this side, it's actually quite clean. Well, it's not really much now because of water dripping off the roof. But when I clean the car or oh, it all gets dirty, always runs down here, gets here. So if there's even a, uh, a little bit of mark on the floor where it's been dripping, but here it's a bit filthy. So I'll just, now I've got the um, small hot water and my brush, and I'm still waiting for the new friction pads from Amazon, which should be arriving imminently. So I'm just doing this now, just thought I'd mention. So I've taken my brush off. One well, thing to be wary of is your fridge vents. So if you're using a hose, you don't want to um, spray it inwards because then it'll soak and fill here with water. So if you're doing a brush, do gent, gentle brushes. Making sure not to get any water in, just gentle. Gentle brushes, sorry if you can't see that. And, uh, gentle brushes and then go to your But look at this, this sponge. It, it's so super absorbent. It's amazing, it gets all in the nooks and crannies. Sprite like of a good brush and the window. We can uh, fill this up and then here. Brilliant. It's really good for getting around there. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet. I, actually, I don't know why I am. I'm just speaking. I'm all right, but I'm so yeah. Now I'm gonna, once I've actually done everywhere else, I'm gonna give it a uh, hose. But just sometimes you get uh, lines coming down. But here's a bit dirty, because the dirty water's been dripping off the ceiling, or the roof. Get around there. Oh, brown stickers gone. Yeah, because the mark that's been there. The guy who serves our caravan, Dan. Hang on. So, the guy who serves our caravan, Dan Marsh. Um, if you want to go to the website, it's firstcorecaravans.com or .co.uk, one of the two. Uh, it's called Dan Marsh. He's really, really nice. Comes to our house and does um, servicing for us. Um, about £200. So it's not too bad. 180 for a single axle plus the 80 and then uh, whatever extras you need. So last year's service, we needed a new gas hose, which you then put on for like five pound, 10 pound. It's not like that. Because that obviously needs replaced every five years and then these tires need replacing this year because they're still factory fit. But back to the original story, he puts a uh, brown sticker because 2023, the uh, service sticker was brown a brown sticker and say no he's done knows he's done it no no mid leave him on but it's sad that it's gone i think this year it's like a dark orange they're quite nice colors normally got all the r's all r's are here oh uh, obviously no 2020 because of covid so yeah and dan uh, the previous owner of this caravan dan was the man <laughs> um so oh, wow that came off nicely just give her a uh that 
Get her good. Oh, it's coming up nicely. Um, Dan's guy always has always serves some animal. See the brown there. Uh, this year we're getting it in June. Serves in June. Yeah, it's a bit. I'm much of a scar on this year again. It's like 10th, 9th of February today. So, yeah. Gonna go clean. Gonna go clean with uh, some of my ramblings, which I, I, I like to do. I like to watch people and they just ramble on like um, Travel Trolls TV, Dan and Massey. Lovely. Um, Graham Bell, Caravan Vlogger. He's nice, I like him. I've met him, I've met him, I think I've met him. I've, I've met him at the NEC once, uh, the February show. Not very nice man, very nice. Right, enough rambling, let's get back on with this. Just love it when I rinse off all the dirty water and you can see all the mist there, all the cleanliness beneath. Let's just pull some more hairs out. Ooh. Uh, go around here. Go around here. Nice and clean. Apart from a few tar marks, but you have to be very gentle with rinsing caravans because if you mess up, uh, you spray like into the uh, seals. Oh, sorry, you can see. Um, you get, get water in your car on so I do things that are just side angle like that just give things a good old rinse and then like do it from afar like it's raining there you go there you go swift logo nice and clean as well. Oh, one thing to mention. Um, last time I went to the NEC for a show. Last time I went to the NEC for a show, we got some Revive Power Paste, which is like the pink stuff, but better. Um, uh, that needs a bit of a wine. Um, called Revive Power Paste. It's like the pink stuff, but better. And I've just said that. <laughs> um, but it works wonders on like your Truma um, outlet. So I'll just turn you around. So here, this is bright yellow, and so is that. And love a little bit of revive on it. Oh, it came up a treat. It's brand new again. And it is pretty much it. the way I've kept this nice and clean and lovely. Um, it looks like a brand new van. It's 2018. But it's still pretty modern. Uh, get a new one soon. Um, we're thinking of getting a Quattro EW. Um, possibly use one because we want the Swift Command. So, like 2019 onwards, but like 2019 between uh, 2019 and 2022. I think, yeah, because that's when like Swift Command was removed from Swift. Uh, not Swift, Sprites. Um, ugh, I've just had a drink and I feel. Ugh. I don't know what I'm saying today. It's weird. Uh, ugh, my hands are filthy. Um, so, yeah, I think I get a Quattro W. Uh, and. Do you know what? This bit is terrible. That's it, going to mind what I'm saying. Um, you think you get a do, which is twin axle, so it's a bit bigger uh, for us, which I'm sure you'll see within the next few months. Hope for August, where we're going to the Torchlight Festival, and then directly after that, um, we're going to Germany for a week or two. Depending on how long we want to stay there for. Um, yeah, and then it's Sunday now, so the uh, 10th, is it? 
No, it's the ninth. Yeah. Is it? Or the eighth. I don't know today. Um, I'm still waiting for the Amazon. Haven't arrived yet. And obviously, whenever I order stuff from Amazon, it always arrives before one. And it actually says, like, arrive before one at one. But whenever my mum orders stuff, even though it says arrive before one, it never arrives before one. It's annoying. Sometimes I've got one, one got there last week, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock at night. Uh, and I needed the um, adapter that I'd ordered that there uh, that morning. So, yeah. Not doing that again. This video is going to be so long, it's just going to be mumbling about. Sorry if it's a bit boring. But if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it. But if you do, you can. So the cabinet is now done. Looking very sparkly. Oh! Remember what I was going to say before? Right, hang on. Caravan ID. We got this for... Um, Got it for free for an, an NEC offer. So you get sent a load of QR codes. We've got one there. Move down here. Another one there. I've got one all the windows, apart from the top one, because that's frosted. Uh, there we go. You also got some replacement LPG stickers, which I think is a bit random. But, uh, uh, yeah, remember that. So, if anyone nicks our caravan um, and a random person can go up to it, and click and scan that, or go to caravan ID and then enter the that number, which is the last six digits of the um, Chris number, no, the VIN number, um, they can see if it's stolen or not, or if it's on a site or at home. You'd have to regularly update it, but yeah. You can also get roof stickers. And massive rear stickers, which we haven't got yet. I've ordered them, but I haven't got them yet. But yeah, caravan is sparkling. There, I can never seem to get that up. It looks worse on the camera than it is, but nice. Wait, right, actually, quite. Uh, it's quite dark out there. Um, where is it? Hang on. They arrived. So let's just do a. I'm just gonna put one in, and I'll show you. Here, and then I'll do the other one. So in this kit from Amazon, I'll put a uh, screenshot on the screen and then put a link in the description. You get two brand new fixture packs. You can really clearly see how much worn the old ones are. Uh, it might be in my pocket. Yes, right. So old one. See the distance there. New one, yeah, look much better than you also get two proper end caps. So, this one goes here, shove it in, you'll see that there. No, and then there we go, perfect. Then, <laughs> put an end cap on, marvellous. So just for the sake of comparison, you can see the, it's a bit wet this one, you see the edge of there, it's right up to the edge. And there, you can see the uh, concaveness is nowhere near the edges like it is on there. So if you've watched to the end, thank you. <laughs> um, I know it's been a long, rambly one with a bit like bitty, bitty um, bits, so cleaning the caravan. Doing the uh, oh, friction pads, um, but if you stayed for long. Thank you. And um, next time you'll well, you'll see the video is um, Bridge House Marina gas tank next week. So I'll have, do a video. Either I'll play it on Sunday. I'll play it on Sunday, or. Um, like whatever day, so I'm gonna do a site tour, um, and like a arriving vlog, and just what we're doing. Because we're gonna go to, actually, no, I'm not gonna say. Make it a surprise. Uh, yeah, right. Thanks for watching.
We'll see you later.